kept saying to people, it's very frustrating, why can't we find out what happens after Shostakovich and Prokofiev? And, you know, it's, it's interesting now to discover that Weinberg really is a sort of third man of Soviet music. Certain major works, like his operas, have been premiered in the West. People are just hearing these things and saying, where have you been all my life, Weinberg? Nothing at all, never heard of him before, apart from knowing that I was going to go to the opera. Not at all, nothing at all. No, not a thing. I know nothing about the composer and I wanted to learn. I was startled beyond words, really, that this excellent composer, as I thought, turns out to have composed works which are far more than excellent, which you can really call masterpieces. He counted his being a survivor of the war as a blessing and hence he thought that he, it is his duty to uh, commemorate uh, and remember these victims of war and the victims of fascism. He was driven out of Warsaw, where he was shaping to be a really fine concert pianist. He was driven out by the Nazi invasion, couldn't go west, he could only go east, along with a lot of other Jews from Warsaw. His family, the rest of his family, didn't manage to make the journey, and he found out later that they perished in the, the camps. Apparently it was through his first symphony, yes, uh, that Shostakovich got to know about this young composer and being very impressed he actually invited him uh, to come to Moscow. His gratitude to the Soviet Union extended to a kind of loyalty which isn't all that easy for outsiders to understand. He was caught up in the paranoia of uh, Stalin's late years, shadowed by the Secret Service for about five years, and then arrested and imprisoned. From his point of view, happily, Stalin died only a couple of weeks later, and Weinberg was, was released. The, the earlier part of the piece is very satirical, hard-hitting, sharp. In the portrait, basically, the subject is an artist, and this artist is poor, and with his last kopeck, he buys a portrait in a market, uh, and this portrait comes to life, and at a certain crucial moment, disgorges money, and with this money, he becomes a famous society painter. He completely forgets about his artistic ideals until there's a frightful sort of denouement or epiphany. Towards the end of the piece, he realizes that he's squandered his talent and ruined his integrity. This is very, very understandable music, beautifully crafted, very sensitively adapted to the singing voice. Well, I certainly now will be looking forward to seeing the opera when it, uh, when it, when it goes on stage. Yes. Well, I should be very interested to hear the music. Very intrigued. I'm looking forward to seeing the poetry.